hey what is up people how is it going this is asam back again with another video and in this video i am going to show you how you can set up hot reload for your kv project okay so this is going to be a very simple and tricky video uh, it is going to be very convenient for your kv project while compiling your android uh, while compiling your kv project to android application okay so guys let's start coding okay so first of all i want to show you a module okay this is a github repository and it is a very good repository just simply clone this uh, the repo the name of this repository is kaki so i'm going to use this module for my uh, i'm going to use this repository for make my kv project hot reloadable okay so guys let's get started okay so first of all just simply uh, clone this repository or download it and then go to your directory or uh, then go where it is located okay then simply open the kaki folder after that edit this app.py file okay i'm going to edit it with ide okay here press ctrl f i am looking for a word okay i am going to look for a word let's say app okay this is not the word okay so here you can see i already edited i already edited my code okay so just simply do this uh, uh, just simply change this like me use from kvmd.app import md app for uh, because i want to load um, i am do, uh, because i want to load kvmd widgets okay so for that you must do this okay so just simply from kvmd.app import md app as basic okay just simply change change it like me and then control uh, then press control f again and just simply type label okay then i want to find it okay for uh, here just uh, just simply add md just simply add md like me before label okay here here is the word okay just simply change it like me okay that's done and then open up your powershell then redirect to your location okay uh, where your repository is available um let's say mine is uh, downloads after that kaki master okay then pip install dot and hit the enter button uh, it will install the module okay i already installed it okay okay then simply go back to your favorite ide okay here i found a main.py file okay then i want to add two more file the first one is layout.kv and the second one is live uh, underscore okay live.py okay what it is going to do actually is just simply separate this live uh, live.py file okay i don't want to do anything right now with this with this one okay so first of all i want to create a base app okay so that you can have a very clear understanding what is going on behind uh, behind it okay so i want to create a base app okay so first of all i want to import so it's my bad from kvmd.app import md app after that from kv so it's my bad i did a spelling mistake from kv dot blank import builder after that from kv dot factory import factory okay um okay now i will create a class called ui or whatever you want okay now i want to inherit this from factory dot screen manager okay 
so what is going to do actually is let me explain this is the main module okay from kv.uix dot screen manager import so is my bad import screen manager okay so uh, it is going to access this screen manager module with this factory one okay so i want to load this in i want to load this class i want to load this class using factory module in my live.py file okay so uh, if you want to know about what factory module does just simply open up your browser and go the kv documentation and find what factory is made for okay what factory module is made for okay now i just inherit my ui class from factory.screen manager okay now i will simply pass a comment here and then i want to load my Mm, let's say I want to load my layout dot kb file. Okay, so this is this comment is not required. Uh, this comment is not required. I just added it. Uh, so this is your choice. And finally, I want to I want to add my main class. Okay, so this class is going to inherit from my uh, from md app class. Okay. And then here I want to build I want to add a build function and here I want to return my UI plus okay after that let's call the run method from the main class okay and let me split this layout.kb file to the right okay so here I want to load this UI class in a angular bracket or something like that okay so this is just inherited from screen manager so screen manager doesn't support other widgets except screens okay so I want to add a screen widget okay here I want to add a label let's say uh, let me add the text to hello world okay after that i want to align it to the center okay now i want to run my main.py file okay okay we find okay here we find the hello world text okay let me open up my I want to add this application to my live.py file okay so um, what I want to clarify is if you want to compile your project to Android application just simply you can play with your main.py file and layout.kb file okay live.py file will not hamper your project okay live.py file will not hamper your project while compiling your app into apk okay so i just created a separate file okay uh, now i want to write some code in my live.py file so first of all i want to load for uh, i want to load the main app class okay from kaki dot app from kaki dot app import app okay so this app is actually md app okay what i did earlier is i edited the main app class from kiwi uh, to uh, the md uh, to md app class from kiwi md okay so i hope that makes sense okay so here i want to load the factory module okay from kiwi dot factory import factory and then I want to import the OS module okay and here I want to create a class okay here I want to create a class called live or whatever you want I just name it as live okay and then I want to set a variable okay this is built-in so I want to load my classes okay 
this variable is going to load the class what you want to reload okay so i want to load i want to load actually this class okay so all the widgets and functions is going to build in this class so i want to load in this class and this class is returned and this class is returned in my main class so actually loading this class is also loading this class because i returned this ui class in my main class okay so classes equal uh, let's say the class name okay this is the class name this is the class name okay this is the class name i just copied and pasted it okay and then i want to set the location okay the location is main main.py file okay so i don't need the extension i only and i only call the main python file okay so it is going to search for the ui class it is going to search for the ui class in main.py file okay in this current location okay now that uh, that was done okay now i want to load sorry it's my bad i want to load kb files okay this is uh, this is actually okay this is uh, this variable is required if you are using a separate layout.kb file okay if you are using a string in your main.py file for uh, for designing your ui just you don't need a you don't need this variable okay so in this variable i want to load my kb file okay so kb file it is a dictionary variable and here i want to call the location of my layout.kb file okay so os.path.join okay here i want to load the uh, here i want to load my layout.kb files location okay so os dot get change directory and then i want to call my layout.kb file okay what it does actually it it the uh, it checks the location where the project is and then add this layout.kb file okay so it, this is done and then i want to call auto reloader pods okay so here i want to uh, okay here i want to set my auto reloader pods okay this will be a list uh, this will be in a list and here i want to add a tuple okay this will be the current location and i want to set the recursive to true okay this is required because i i followed the documentation of kaki so i need to pass it here okay recursive is true i hope that that's okay okay uh, let me add a comma okay now i want to call the build app function okay and I want to return as I mentioned earlier I will load this UI class I will load this UI class using this factory module okay I want to call this factory and then I want to load this UI class with this factory module okay after that I want to call the run method from this live class okay okay let's check it sorry guys my bad auto reloader path is a list not a dictionary okay let me clear this and i want to pass it from here okay that's how it's done okay now i want to Show you something from here okay uh, okay let me go to this example folder and if you are using windows 
okay if you're using linux just simply hit this and if you are using windows and you and you are using cmd then copy this command okay uh, here uh, let me explain you just you want to set the debug mode in true and then you want to run your main.py file okay so main.py file means our live.py file okay okay before i run let me open my main.py file here i want to add the main loop okay if name equal equal main then run the main class okay okay now let me open the terminal and from here set debug equal one and and python live dot pi okay now i want to hit the enter button okay here we find the live app okay now i want to resize Okay. Here, let me edit this KB file. Okay. I want to remove this and I want to save this. Okay. Now, here we can find our live reload is working. Let me comment this out. Okay. Here and let me recenter it okay and i want to add a button let me add a text click me okay here i got a button okay and let's say um release print hello world okay and here i want to click this it is reloading maybe there is an error okay here we find here we find hello world is printing in the console okay so here, uh, if you want to compile your main.py file to your to an Android application, just simply compile this application. Just simply compile this, compile this main.py file. Okay, live.py file will not affect your main.py file. Okay, so that's the reason that I make this video. So guys, keep watching. That's all for today's video. Goodbye.